Slowing down on the straight causes you to have a big speed difference with riders who don't. Please do not put yourself in this situation. It is better to continue at a reasonably fast pace until the time you need to signal early that you are coming into the pit lane. Even if I'm riding with one foot off a foot peg, I still continue at a reasonably quick pace so not to put myself in more danger than necessary. Um, exiting pit lane, it doesn't matter what track I'm at, I make sure I get up to speed quickly to reduce that speed difference, which I think is the most dangerous thing. And I stay completely, on this track anyway, to the left, not crossing across um, the racing line at all. I stay right, I literally go up on, you'll hear, up on that ripple strip on the paint, riding along in a straight line to stay out of anyone's way. And I do take a wide line around turn three, stay wide, and then if I haven't been in anyone's way for sure, then I take a look, see if anyone's coming. I'm already up to speed. Now you can join, join the race line, you know. It makes, makes it safer. And I think it's pretty much every track you can treat with the same approach, you know. Don't cross the race line until you're up to speed. Fork seals. If they're leaking a little bit on the street, they're most likely gonna leak a lot more when you're riding on the circuit because braking's much more aggressive. And uh, also, if they're worn, if front forks are worn, saggy, soft, you can't brake as hard and aggressive uh, because they dive through the stroke too fast and don't give you confidence. Most of the confidence you feel on track comes through the front end, you know? So uh, I'm not saying you need the best forks, just well-maintained service, recently serviced and set up. If you are gonna give your forks to someone to work on, please don't give it to any old monkey. Give it to a qualified technician, you know, to make sure they're right. Brake lines incorrectly rooted brake lines can cause brake failure, I've seen it, really scary. Speaking of correctly rooted, throttle cable. Make sure the free play is correct, not too much, not too little, and that the cables are correctly rooted, so when you're going lock to lock, they don't rev the engine or, you know, cause any hazard that way. Uh, brake lever. On race bikes, you get a bit more adjustment. You know, you've got more room to uh, adjust the lever clamp up and down the bar, and you can make the brakes feel like they've got a lot more power by moving it up, and you get twice the leverage. Brakes feel awesome. A too tightly tensioned chain is just as bad, if not worse, than a too loose chain. And uh, Mick's going to show us the two different extremes. Serious tight. Please make sure it's pretty much bang on what the manufacturer recommends in the handbook, you know, the motorcycle manufacturer. And uh, Mick's going to show us what's bang on. Bang on. Next thing is, Mick's going to check our tyre pressures. It's extremely important. Find out what the tyre manufacturer recommends for your model of tyre and check it every time before you ride, because if they're not correct, they'll not only grip less, you know, whether they're too high or too low, they'll wear out faster. It's like throwing money away. The manufacturer often give a pressure, hot or cold, you know, it's too, because the, when they're used on track, they get hotter, or with a warmer, they're hotter, and uh, the pressure rises if it's air, because um, heat makes the air expand and get a higher pressure. But, um, so they'll give a hot or a cold temperature to check them out. Uh, like I said, grip level will be higher if the pressure's correct and life of the tire. For example, if it's too hard, too much pressure, you have a smaller contact patch on the, you know, less tires touching the road, less grip, and it gives that little bit a harder time. I think the right choice of tires for riding on track is probably the most important thing because I have guys coming to me and saying, Sai, I don't think I need, uh, I don't think I'm fast enough to need track specific tires, race tires or, and the way I see it, races, their aim is to keep pushing the tire level, grip level, as close to the limit as possible. And that's what they're good at, you know, just going all the way around the lap, get right near the limit without going over it. 
guys with less experience, guys, girls with less experience, are going like this. One corner they'll be, oh, and next minute they're nowhere near the limit, and the next minute they're over. If you can buy the right tyre to ride on track, put that limit up here, you're safe, you know? <laughs> you spend the whole day up and down, but don't go over. That's the way I see it. Street tyres, they're made to work cold, you know, for going riding to the shop. And when they get to the temperature that we get them on track, they don't work as good, you know, they're basically melting. So yeah, they'll be a little bit safer on those first couple of laps if they're cold, but they'll never get to the same grip level as track-specific tyres. Another thing is temperature, like I mentioned before, track-specific tyres don't work as well cold. Some of them are lethal cold, so you've got to really take your time and get them warm. What I do is um, I don't do that swerving. Personally, I think it went out in the 90s. I, it's time on the side that gets heat in your tyres. So basically, when it's upright, I go, you know, down those straights, use plenty of throttle, get some heat and make those tyres work. Same on the brakes, in a straight line, I get some heat into them. As soon as you've got to lean it all, I get off brakes and throttle and let it roll, nice and gentle. Don't use the gas or brakes and upset those cold tyres. Let it roll, spend time on the side gradually, take about two laps and uh, being gentle and you've got heat in and wake it where you can go. And rather than waste that two laps, three laps every session at the beginning and the end risking your body on cold tyres, I prefer to have a set of stands tyre warmers, they're like electric blankets for your tyres and uh, they're thermostatically controlled and keep the tyres while you're mucking around waiting for your session, keep your tyres at the right temperature so you can just roll out the garage, go and straight on it.